What are HTML tables used for and what should they not be used for? HTML tables aren't used as much these days as they used to be, but as a front-end developer, you should still be familiar with them. Tables are one of the earliest ways devs had for displaying data in a browser, way back in the 1990s. Here's a table from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. And here's the code used to create this table. As you can see, there's a main table element with an ID set to QuickFax. Inside it, the table has a table head element, T head, table body element, T body, and a table foot element, T foot. The table head, body, and foot elements can each contain some number of table rows, TR, and each table row can contain a table header, TH, which labels the data in that row. It can also contain some number of individual data cells called table data, TD. Now that's a lot of HTML elements, but don't be intimidated. These follow a simple hierarchy. Here's the simplest table we can create that includes all these elements. As you can see, the data itself is always within a TR, and within that TR element is a TH element with a header, and a TD element with data. Some websites will choose to use divs to build their own tables instead of using the more appropriate table element. Here's a table from Kaggle.com made entirely out of divs without the table element. While it is possible to display tabular data using generic div elements, it's still better to use the table element instead. Many years ago, developers might have used a table to position non-data elements on a web page. This was never considered a best practice but you may encounter some code bases where tables are still used like this. Nowadays, developers use CSS Flexbox and Grid to lay out their designs. Free Code Camp will cover these tools in depth later. For now, just use HTML tables for their original intended purpose, displaying tabular data.